Hi, I'm Joanne Hewins. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demo and today I want to share with you how to make this little baby from the um, Sweet Baby Bundle. Okay, and this can be found of course in the Stampin' Up! catalog. I just wanted to show you, if you look at the edges of the catalog, there are different colors here, and those are for the different sections that are in the book. The yellow section is the kids and babies section, and that's where we're going to be looking today. We're going to be on page 89, and we're going to be looking at the Sweet Baby stamp set. That's this one. And also, we're going to be looking at the Bouncing Baby Framelit dies, and that's these here. We're also going to be using the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper. It's found back in the book on page 189. Here's uh, a picture of it, but I have the real stuff, so let's look at that. Sorry. And here is one side of the paper. I've got some stripes and dots and stars um, of all kinds. And then the other side of the paper looks like this with stripes, more stars, constellations with stars and hearts. It's a really cute paper. Okay, so let's get started with our baby. And we're going to start by stamping the baby and the little headband on a piece of Whisper White scrap. And we're going to be using the Memento Black ink for that. So I'm going to stamp the baby. And then I'm also going to stamp the headband. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the baby and the headband because we're going to cut this out on the big shot and I want to have room so that I can cut them both at the same time. And we're going to be coloring this with uh, some blends. So we've got the light and dark old olive, the light and dark crumb cake, and the ivory. And I'm going to start with the ivory. We're going to color in her face with that. And with the face, I'm really not going to do any shading. I'm just going to color this in. And I'm going to color in her hands, although they may not show in the blanket. And now I'm ready to do her hair. I'm going to start with the crumb cake. This is the light crumb cake. Add in a little bit of dark just here and there along those hair lines. And then we'll smooth it out with the light crumb cake. Okay, and now we're ready to color in the onesie. I'm going to use uh, the light old olive. that and then I think we will add a little bit of shading with the dark old olive we might put some under under the collar maybe down here on the sleeves although that's probably not going to show and then just let me blend this out And now we're going to color in the bow on the headband. And I think I'll add a little bit of shading on the bow. Maybe just a little bit on the headband there. And then we'll use the lighter, kind of. Now I went out 
of space just a little bit so I can use the color lifter. Hopefully it'll pick up a little bit of that color there. Okay, we're going to bring in the Big Shot. And I have the Big Shot platform, the thin die adapter, and then a clear plate. And uh, I know that I could be using the uh, magnetic plate but sometimes with small pieces that tends to move around a little bit and I've gotten to where I just like this plate. So I'm going to use a little washi to take that down. And then let me place this on here. We'll use a little washi on that. It's kind of hard to see how you're placing that from the side. And then we'll add our plate. And then here's our baby. And the headband. So I'm going to lay those aside. And while I have the big shot here, we're going to go ahead and cut the blanket. So I'm going to lay down a piece of the uh, designer paper from Twinkle Twinkle and run this through. Oops. Now, let me show you that when I put the baby in here and fold this over, you're going to have a different color paper in the back, and I really want it to be the same. So what I'm going to do is cut this out again. All I really need is this part in here. So I'm going to put that on there and run it through again. this aside. And now we've, we have part of it and there are some score lines here. I don't know if you can see those, but I'm going to take my snips and just cut on those score lines and cut this other off take away some of the bulk. And then what I want to do is attach this here so that when I fold it, it's going to all look to be one piece and one color. So I'm going to add this with some snare. And I want to try to uh, match the, sc the scallops. Hopefully down here. And then we'll add our baby in here. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the back of the headband, just a tiny bit, I hope. She goes, and then to attach this side, I'm going to use a couple of glue dots and just kind of fold this over. And then I'm going to get a dimensional and put it on this side. And then we'll take that off, and here she is. All right, so here's our baby. And we made that using these framelits, the Bouncing Baby framelits. 
Here are the other pieces. And we use the stamp set Sweet Baby. So I hope that you'll um, get this. And uh, if you are a new grandma, grandmother like I am, you, you're going to want to use these products. Uh, you can buy these from me. Uh, my website is love to create typepad.com. I post to my blog on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, new, usually new projects. I would love for you to join me. I would love for you to buy from me, and I would love for you to share this video. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.